advantages of implementing telemedicine and why why do people talk about it why am i talking about it right now technology as you know if we are surrounded by technology gadgets and we feel they are actually making our lives easier technology is there in even a grocery store if you are not aware of the amazon go concept let me take a second to explain how that works Amazon has actually stores where there is no um, no employee in the store as a consumer you walk in you pick whatever you want you scan the product and you're out so there is like zero human interaction or help required they call it amazon go stores and they actually started that idea with like you know one uh, store but now they have several stores across united states and it's such a simple thing right and how they do it you scan your amazon prime card or your number you just scan it on the phone you walk in you pick everything and they actually have technology and systems which can actually uh, monitor who has picked what item and you just walk out and based on the number of items that you've scanned it automatically bills you on the card and you have to not see or meet any human at all so if a technology is implemented at a grocery store level why not have it you know at a healthcare and make our patients life easier because all we are looking at in the current situation is making our life easier and simpler and bringing eye care healthcare to their home so technology is definitely the present and the future it also is known there are several studies which talk about it co- it contributes to a patient's compliance and prognosis now we all we have to remember when we are talking about any eye conditions or you know any health conditions it's not just you have glasses or you have you know certain conditions and you need a treatment there are several social and environmental determinants as well imagine i am uh, you know working i do not have time off during your clinic or your uh, retail hours instead of me taking a day off and coming to it can i start something at home and that could be a good start and it will also make me a compliant patient and i'll stick to your regime because i can do something at my convenience versus adjusting it from my busy schedule to come to your clinic or practice that i might do it within uh 6 months to a year but if i can do it something from home i might do it right away with a click so it definitely contributes to better patient compliance and prognosis when you tell the patient and ask them to do series of 10 to 15 tests like you know as we discussed ask them questions ask them to fill up the form make them do all the pre- preliminary tests themselves they understand the time and effort you are putting in to do a thorough eye exam or evaluation and you can actually charge your services especially for practitioners in uh, in india where i know you know we don't really charge and we do like all free eye exams this could be an opportunity to tell them that hey this is not a free eye exam because i'm going to do a complete eye exam or an evaluation for you and this is all what is included this actually gives you an opportunity to educate your patient and also tell them that you're going to charge for the service which i feel is 100% necessary uh, for every eye care professional who is working out there you have to have to charge your services it widens your scope of practice currently you might only be able to see patients you know who can travel or visit your clinic or optician with these online services you can actually connect with the patient from anywhere in your country right you don't have to physically be there you can actually help them from the comfort of their house once you have all the information collected you need to understand that there are these technologies and the buzzwords like artificial intelligence machine learning i have actually spoken about it in my previous um, a webinar you can also go back and listen more about it but all they do is you know they try to put system or technology and remove the redundant human work but once you have these basic technology implemented then you can think about how can you uh, advance these analytics or run analytics around the data that you've collected using artificial intelligence or machine learning so it will also help you in research 
right? Because everything that you do is documented and stored somewhere. So it definitely contributes and advances, uh, you know, using these other layer or the second stage of advanced technologies that you want to implement. And not to forget, it spreads awareness. It definitely, definitely contributes because you can talk about the uh, not just, you know, a limited things about, okay, you know, this is your eye problem. You can talk about a lot more of the importance of eye care, importance of regular uh, eye checkup, annual eye checkup, importance of dilation, importance of them coming in the in your clinic and a lot more. You, you're getting this opportunity and extra time, which you have removed from your clinic, have them in their house to start the eye exam. And then when they come in the clinic, you can actually talk about a lot more information than you know, spending your time on these additional uh, preliminary eye, eye exams.